Hey YouTube, this is a unique superstar coming at you with another video. And before I start this video, let me just say <laughs> I might be, you know, drinking a little liquid um, through the throughout the video because I'm very dehydrated, and so I need to drink this Powerade, the rest of this Powerade or whatever, because I'm really thirsty. So before I start this video, let me just, you know, drink some of that, and um, yeah. Okay, so today's video is going to be about like tips for freshmen and stuff like that. Um, because I've been a freshman, I've been there, I've been a sophomore now, and now I'm about to be a junior. So I'm going to do a, um, you know, tips for freshmen, and then I think I'm going to do three videos tips for freshmen and tips for sophomores, and then my sophomore experience. Because, you know, when I was a freshman, I did my freshman experience. So I'm going to do my sophomore experience, and now, like this video, like I said, is tips for freshmen and stuff like that. All right. So, first of all, I'm going to start with um, social tips and stuff like that, like when you're an incoming freshman or whatever. Okay. I know when you're in, like in eighth grade and stuff, like you have people that are um, probably, you know, older than you that, you know, are freshmen and you're in eighth grade or whatever. And by the time you're a freshman, they're a sophomore. So, you know, you probably talk to them and, you know, you ask them about high school and stuff like that and they tell you different stuff. But, you know, I guess you could like come up with your own perspective on what you think high school is going to be like but high school is different from like every person like some people like high school some people don't like it's just different from people to people so um one social tip that i have is like don't go up to you like don't go to high school thinking you're all that in a bag of chips like um like even if you were popular at your middle school like you know this is a whole new you know a whole new school even if it's not a whole new school, it's a whole new experience and it's just different and a whole new environment and stuff like that. So, and you have to, it's kind of like you have to reestablish re yourself because, you know, like I said, it's a new environment and stuff. Um, another tip for so socially is definitely like, of course, join clubs. But um, I guess you could say, try. I, I guess I would say try out a few clubs and, you know, see which one you like. Like maybe start off with one and then maybe join another um next year or at the middle of the year what not the middle of the year but you know see what you want to do what you like to do like check out all the clubs and stuff at this school and you know i guess it's a good way to make friends of course and you know stuff like that it's definitely a good way to make friends you know um another tip is like for the first day of school definitely like go with like someone that you know um, like your friend or your best friend or something like go to school with them like you know walk with them or you know get a ride from your parents or whatever um, you know, to school with them so you guys can, you know, experience it together because I know, like, the first day and the first week and first weeks of school can be very, like, stressful, um, socially, not really academically stressful. It can be, but not really that much because usually the first weeks of school is, like, reviewing from last year and stuff like that, but, um, you know, so you won't feel alone and stuff like that because, you know, you definitely don't want to feel alone in high school because, you know, that's not good. Um, Another tip, I guess that's about all for like freshman year for like social tips. Like, you know, definitely, you know, like I said, don't like think you're all that and stuff because it'll be harder for you to make friends because um, people won't probably like you. Um, but anyways, if you're just just be yourself and, you know, you'll make friends and stuff like even more friends and stuff like that. Um, so now I'm going to go on to academic tips. Um, for freshmen okay definitely I would say do summer school like when you're about to be an incoming freshman um, it, summer school will probably be at your the high school you're about to go to so um, you know do summer school and then like do summer school um, I want to include this in that huh sorry I'm getting tongue-tied and stuff with that do summer school because it's like at the end of like senior, like by the time you hit senior year, you have less classes, less homework, less stress to handle and stuff like that. Um, doing summer school is like something to do over the summer because like most people like they don't like in most cities and areas, um, you know, there are a lot of, not a lot of things for teens to do like, you know, um, you know, summer programs like summer camps and stuff like that. Um, of course, don't do summer school if, you know, you know your family is going to go on lots of vacations or if you're going to, like, you know, be very active or busy, like, you know, over the summer. So definitely don't do it if you know you're going to be active. 
very active over the summer but if you aren't like if you don't have any plans for the summer definitely go to summer school hold on I know it's a lot of work you know it is you know summer school so it is you know kind of like regular school but shorter it is harder in my experience it was very like it's harder and stuff like that but I didn't take summer school freshman year I went um I did a um summer enrichment program it was like a summer enrichment program for incoming freshmen and they had math and reading not to um math and you know they taught us some stuff so then like when I got you know to be a freshman like some stuff I already knew and you know I already knew some of the stuff like that at the beginning of the school year and stuff like that like that and so that really helped me and so if they have a program like that at your school or whatever try to do that also but I really like stress like regular like summer school because like it'll really like you know ease a lot of stress like throughout the years because you'll have less you know classes and stuff to take um um but it is a lot of work and um yeah um, let me see. Study, study, study. That's another tip, of course, for freshmen. Um, you want to, you know, study because um, when you form your study habits, it's going to carry on with you, you know, to high school. And then if you want to go to college and stuff like that, like, you know, learn how to do studying and stuff like that. And if you don't know how to study well, then, you know, maybe have a friend help you, you know, learn how to teach you how to study, a teacher or something like that. I'm pretty sure, like, lots of teachers would be willing to help you, like, um, studying stuff, especially if you're in an honors class, like if you're in honors classes, definitely like, you know, team up with your teacher and, you know, stay on track with that work because it's really, really critical um, because the work is clearly more advanced and stuff like that and you get a lot of work and homework and class work. So it's a lot of work. So um, definitely got to study and, you know, do all, turn in all your assignments because it's really important because it's like, um, at the end of the quarter, you're going to be like, OMG, I got to get this grade up if you, you know, don't do your work. And also, like, ask questions and stuff like, ask questions. If you have a question in class or whatever, ask questions. You know, stay after school for tutoring if you need it. Don't be embarrassed to stay after school for tutoring because it's like, at the end of the day, if you know what you're doing, you're going to do good on, like, the class assignments, the homework, the quizzes, the tests. And then at the end of the quarter, you're going to get an A or a B or, you know, a high grade and what you deserve or whatever instead of, you know, a bad grade. So, and um, you definitely want to start, like, you know, freshman year, like, it was easy for me because, it was, I don't know, freshman year is kind of like the easiest year, I guess you could say. Um, but you definitely want to get the best grades that you can all four years, but especially, like, you know, start off freshman year because then you know you'd be used to you know getting good grades and working hard and stuff like that um because at the end of you know junior year and senior year that's when it gets really critical for college um um because you know you have you have a something called a cumulative gpa um which you guys hopefully should know about um the cumulative gpa is like your gpa over the years or whatever that in your high school career so you definitely want to start that foundation um, as a freshman and then continue, you know, getting good grades and stuff like that. So you have a good accumul a cumulative GPA, um, a, cum a good accumulative GPAs and grades and stuff like that. That opens up lots of opportunities for scholarships and um, stuff like that. So that's really good. Um, also, like I said, do activities and clubs. Hang out with your friends. That's really important. Um... It's important to like make the make friends and you know hang out with them because you don't want to be like at home every weekend because that's like that's like what I did like I did not do nothing over the weekends um like I still don't do much over the weekends but it's getting better but um definitely you know hang out with your friends like and stuff do the, like little small things I know like <laughs> If you don't have a job or your parents don't give you money you know it's not much you can do with like a little to no money but you know it's different things you can do like that's one reason why I didn't really hang out with my friends a lot because one every time I tried to plan something you know something always happened like they couldn't go and there's always an issue and then you know sometimes I didn't have money to hang out with my friends but you know do the little things you know maybe go to a football game maybe go to some movie sometime maybe go out to dinner sometimes stuff like that um more academic tips um i guess that's about all like i said just you know do your homework do your best in school and class don't be acting a hot mess when you get you know to high school thank you all that um definitely be yourself don't be fake that's a big tip don't be fake because 
people will see straight through your fakeness like seriously and like be yourself from the get-go because then like once you're like if you're like I put on a, a persona you know if you're sorry if you're putting on a persona then you know by sophomore year people are gonna be like you know oh they changed and oh they fake and stuff like that so be yourself you know don't be nobody else for nobody else um that's the best way I can say that um do good in school do your best like I said go after school for tutoring if you need it um keep your parents informed to like you know what's this <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry for that cough. Excuse me. Um, keep your parents informed on what you're doing. Like, you know, like if you want to. <clears throat> sorry. Keep your parents informed on your social life and your academics. Like, if you have a project due, maybe you need their help or like buying the stuff for the project or whatever. Like, and maybe if you want to go to the movies or something, maybe they need to drive you. So keep them informed and stuff like that. And, you know, that'll, like, help you guys hopefully have a better relationship. If, you know, you keep them informed and on track. Um, yeah, those, I guess, are my tips for freshmen. Like, yeah. It's like, it's just like middle school. Like, to me, high school is just like middle school. It's just a lot more people and harder work. Like, seriously. <laughs> Hush. Hush your mouth. It's a lot more people and harder work. So, I, I mean, yeah. So, those are all my tips. If you have, like, any tips for people, um, you know, incoming freshmen, comment them down below. And if you if I miss anything, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely discuss it. And that's all for this video. And in the meantime, be a superstar. Peace.